Hi, this is Nisi of Foxy Girl Creations. Let's get into this project. So what you see here is I'm taping off the back of it to protect it from the resin. I know it started off looking janky, but see, it looks neat. And I've already um, cleaned the front of it off with alcohol, but I'm just wiping off the access just in case some hair or something got in on it. And now I am going to go ahead and add the resin onto the letter. So what I'm doing is placing a little bit of resin onto the letter itself so that when I add the clear uh, crushed glass, it sticks and it doesn't like move around, shift or anything like that. So I'm just going to smear a little bit of resin on with the popsicle stick into the places that I already selected in my mind that I wanted to put the crushed glass. So. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on there. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Sprinkle that on there. Pat it down a little bit. You don't really want to overdo it because you want it to like lay into that resin smear that you put on there. So you just put it on there a little bit. You want to try to get as much coverage though as you can to try to cover up that white piece if that's what you want but don't overdo it okay so i'm just making sure the edges are clear of glass moving off the excess glass from off of the initial itself because once you lay the colored resin down you don't want that glass to be in spots that you need didn't pick for the glass to go, if that makes sense. All right, so just putting a little bit of clear resin on top of the crushed glass so that it gives it some type of adherence once it dries so that the crushed glass doesn't move anymore. It's there, it's stuck. All right, so now we're going to move on to adding the colors. There is no rhyme or reason on the design. I just laid it out how I want it. But with the gold, I knew that I wanted that to go up against the glass itself. Because sometimes that gold goes into the glass and it gives it a pretty, pretty effect. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, after that, then you're going to see me put out the sprinkles. So I put, oh, glitter. I put glitter on there to add a little shine to it. So once it hits that light, you'll see the glass has a little shimmer. All right, so now I'm going to go in with the purple resin. And I just put it out how I felt like in my mind I wanted the design to go. As far as the colors that I selected, I just picked colors out of the box, honestly. I didn't go off of a color wheel, which I probably should have, but I just did what I felt like I wanted to do. This is my personal letter my, you know, that I'm going to put in my office, so I'm good with it. So the rest of this is a little bit repetitive as far as laying out the resin, so I'm going to just go ahead and let the music play. Okay, um, now with this white, it was a little too thick, so you will see me stop um, putting it on there, and then I go off camera and add more clear resin to it, so to, to thin it out a little bit. And with this project, I don't really know exactly how much resin I use. I just filled up the um, the little medicine cup halfway with both parts. So I used two cups and filled them up halfway and then put them together. 
But I love these cups because it makes like a spout. It makes it easier for me to pour the resin out how I want it to go. And they're cheap. I got them from the Dollar Tree. Do the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going back over it with the leftover gold that I had just to add some gold into the initial itself instead of just up against the crushed glass. And I do the same with the rest of the colors that I have, just um, kind of swirl it on there until I feel like I have what I want as far as the design. I also post the um, the names uh, and the colors of the mica pigments that I use in the description bar, as well as the resin that I use. I got the letter though from Michaels for about four dollars and fifty cents or five dollars or something like that. And the painter's tape I got from Dollar Tree. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I have the letters um, sitting on top of little shot cups so that the resin, if it drips off, it falls down instead of just making a puddle underneath the letter. And all done. There we go. So cute. I like it. It works. So, and it was my first time. So, I think I did a good job. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Have a good day.